the prostrate to the Arya Triple Gem. Thus that I hear at one time, the Bhagavan was dwelling on mass of Vulture's Mountain in Rajkriya, together with a great community of monks and a great community of bodhisattvas. At that time, the Bhagavan was absorbed in the concentration in the categories of phenomena called profound perception. Also at that time, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva Arya Avalokiteshvara looked upon the very practice of the profound perfection of wisdom and beheld those five aggregates also as empty of inherent nature. Then through the power of Buddha, the Venerable Shariputra said this to the Bodhisattva Mahasattva Arya Avalokiteshvara, how should a son of the lineage who tra uh, trained who wishes to practice the activity of the profound perfection of wisdom? He said that, and the Bodhisattva Mahasattva Arya Avalokiteshvara said this to the Venerable Shari Putra. Shari Putra, any son of the lineage or daughter of the lineage who wishes to practice the activity of the profound perfection of wisdom should look upon it like this, correctly and repeatedly beholding those five aggregates also as empty of inherent nature. Form is empty. Emptiness is form. Emptiness is not other than form. Form is also not other than emptiness. In the same way, feeling, discrimination, compositional factors, and consciousness are empty. Chariputra, likewise, all phenomena are emptiness. Without characteristic, unproduced, unceased, stainless, not without stain, not deficient, not fulfilled. Chariputra, therefore, in emptiness, there is no form, no feeling, no discrimination, no compositional factors, no consciousness, no eye, no ear, no nose, no tongue, no body, no mind, no visual form, no sound, no odor, no taste, no object of touch, and no phenomenon. There is no eye element, up, uh, and so on, up to and including no mind element, and no mental consciousness element. There is no ignorance, no extinction of ignorance, and so on up to and including no aging and death, and no extinction of aging and death. Similarly, there is no suffering, origination, cessation, and path. There is no exalted wisdom, no attainment, and also no non-attainment. Shariputra, therefore, because there is no attainment, bodhisattvas rely on and dwell in the perfection of wisdom, the mind without obscuration and without fear. Having completely passed beyond error, they reach the end point of nirvana. All the Buddhas who dwell in three times also manifestly completely awaken to unsurpassable, perfect, complete enlightenment in reliance on the perfection of wisdom. Therefore, the mantra of the perfection of wisdom, the mantra of great knowledge, the unsurpassed mantra, the mantra equal to the unequaled, the mantra that thoroughly pacifies all suffering, should be known as truth, since it is not false. The mantra of the perfection of wisdom is declared. Dayata om gate gate paragate parasam gate bodhiso. Shariputra, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva, should train in the profound perfection of wisdom like that. Then the Bhagavan arose from that concentration and commended the Bodhisattva Mahasattva Arya Avalokiteshvara, saying, Well said, well said, son of the lineage, it is like that, it is like that. One should practice the profound perfection of wisdom, just as you have indicated. Even the that I should rejoice. The Bhagavan, having thus spoken, the Venerable Sharivadi Putra, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva Arya Avalokiteshvara, and those surrounding in their entirety, along with the world of gods, humans, asuras, and gandharvas, were overjoyed and highly praised that spoken by the Bhagavan. This ground anointed with perfume, strewn with flowers, or with Mount Meru for confidence, the sun, and the moon. I imagine this as a butter field and offer it. May all living beings enjoy this pure land. Idam Guru Ratna Mandala Kam Niryataya. Taking refuge in generating bodhicitta once in English and twice in Tibetan. I go for refuge until I am enlightened to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By the merits I create through listening to the Dharma, may I become a Buddha in order to benefit all sentient beings. 
Sangue Chodam Sangue Chodam Jonala Janje Bhati Dhani Jansu Chendagi Ji Sanje Bishanam Dola Penje Sanje Njumba Jansu Sanje Chanda Sanje Chodam Dhani Jansu Chendagi Ji Sanje Bishanam Dola Penje Sanje Njumba Jansu Bangi to the news on it out and Jacob Major and Major and Tensa Bogondam de la Chanza Law. Tony and Jason and Jimmy Lanches and the Manja and Jogotana, the Matinja Jazola, so on the session to learn the show. Tambo, like a dollar than a jig and the one that I make another drop. I guess about and jig it to Taki Cheton. So Uh, as I told you before, you know, uh, everything is our mind. Everything is depends on mind, and uh, everything, you know, it's come from our mind. So, good or bad or you know happiness or suffering or problems everything from my mind everything everything from our mind not from outside so if we if we really want to be on our therapist we should take care of mind this is the best solution we we need to take care of our mind. As I mentioned that before, we uh, meditate on our mind, and we realize what is mind, and what is the real the nature of the mind, and what is mind power. And you know, mindful on on mind. It's very important, very very important. As I told you before, if you have a good good mind attitude, good mind side, and if you have a beautiful mind, then you can be happy. You can be happy forever, whenever, wherever. You can be happy with. What is uh, whoever does matter, you know, anytime, forever, whenever you can be happy if you have a good mind, a beautiful mind, good attitude mind. So, mind is, you know, our what is guide, mind is our leader, mind is our boss. If you have a good mind, good mind, then you can lead yourself on the right way, the right path. Then you can get happiness. If you, if you know, sir, if you have, you know, uh, uh, not good mind attitude, mind side, then you know you lead yourself on the wrong way, wrong direction. Actually, if everyone wants happiness, overcome suffering, but we always go on the wrong way. Happiness is that side, but we go on that side. So we get more and more problem. Actually, we want happiness, but we get this the same like automatically. We get suffering, we get problem. Why? We go on the wrong direction. Happiness there. If you try to go on that side, you can 
hopefully we all have, we have or we are we like, we will have opportunity to get happiness. Why we go on railway? Why? Because our mind attitude, you know, wrong. Something miss in our mind. So, uh, if you if you open your mind, if you you know uh, change your mind for better, and uh, if you change your mind mind attitude, then this is the best on our what is our uh, therapy skin and our teacher, our protector. As I mentioned that before, nobody can protect you from the suffering of samsara and suffering of age, suffering of sick, suffering of death. Nobody can protect you, nobody. Only you can protect you. Only you can save yourself from some suffering of samsara. So I mean, you know, uh, we should change, develop our mind. But many Buddhist masters said that uh, mental change is not easy. It takes time. But we can change because it is impermanent. Every impermanent, every impermanent, you know, change, instantly and momentarily change itself, themselves. So we, we try to change, you know, a mind, and for better we can change, because this is not a permanent. So I, what is, uh, I mean, everything depends on mind, everything from our mind. Anytime we should uh, take care of our mind and our mouth and speech and you know, uh, our body, then you can create get a good karma, and uh, you can control you know many many bad things. So whatever we watch. We, sh we need, we should watch it our mind, mindful on our mind, understand more about mind. What is mind? Where is mind? What is the nature of the mind? It's very important, very, very important, really, you know? Why we listen about Buddhism? Why we practice? Why we Prayer, why we do puja? That all, everything for our change mind, develop mind, develop compassion, we should. For example, if a whole life you do something, prayer and puja, but still you don't change your mind, it's not much bad benefit. You can't be on our therapy, your therapy. We can't. No chance. <clears throat> so, so we should understand more about mind. Very, very important. According to the Buddhist philosophy, everyone has Buddha nature. What is Buddha nature? What is meaning of Buddha nature? Buddha nature is a reality nature of mind. This is Buddha nature. Now, now you know how to you know, develop this Buddha nature, how to use Buddha nature, how to manifest it Buddha nature. We should think. So, Whatever, today I'm going to talk a little bit about, you know, uh, uh, 
Bifurcation meditation. Bifurcation meditation, okay? So actually, you know, <clears throat> uh, that means a practice which are cleanses, cleans, cleanses our negative karmas and disease by the nectar from the medicine Buddha. How to practice about medicine Buddha? And, uh, uh, you know, uh, how to we make clean our mind by nectar from uh, medicine Buddha. Actually, as I tell, uh, as I mentioned that before, water can't wash our mind. Hand, weapons, knife, you know, can't cut our negative karma. Only we can make clean our mind through the meditation practice. So we need to, we need engage a lot of practices. So now I'm going to talk about how to you know wash our mind, how to make clean our mind by the nectar, nectar from this uh, medicine Buddha. Why I talk about medicine Buddha? Why I choose about medicine Buddha? Because you know medicine Buddha is a special for you know. Uh, <clears throat> uh, for this is recover from you know recover from the disease. So you know, so you know. First, we should invite invite uh, the medicine Buddha onto our core here uh, from the medicine Buddha's pure light. We should visualize. First, you make clean in your room, wherever place of your practice, and visualize. You please welcome. What is please come to here? Medicine Buddha. You invite it on, onto your, <coughs> uh, you know, our crawl from the Medicine Buddha's pure line. And then we need to, you know, pay more uh, full attention to visualize the medicine Buddha very clear. Here one medicine Buddha, this side, this statue. And, you know, visualize very, uh, visualize, you know, medicine Buddha very clear. <clears throat> Drop your hand <clears throat> under your hand, head. Sorry. <clears throat> and then you know you sit on the you know cushion. Of course, you know, sit well, very relaxed, and keep it very quiet and uh, very peaceful. Sit on you know cushion or seat, chair or does matter. Very relaxed and calm down and peaceful. Keep very, uh, very peaceful. Then we we will practice to take refuge with Buddha, Dharma, Sangha, and try to generate Buddhicitta. It's very important. So first we invited Medicine Buddha onto our crawl from medicine with this pure light, okay? And then we sit on whatever, then, you know, we uh, take refuge with Buddha Dhamma Sangha and try to generate Bodhicitta. Uh, special, you know, 
Basically, we need a good intention. And we should think that we will you know, engage this in this practice of purification for the benefit of all the mother sentient beings. So when you actually uh, uh, <clears throat> same, whatever you practice, you know, you should practice for, for the benefit of all the sentient beings, not for ourselves. Okay, not for this life, not for this uh, temporary happiness, and not for our family, not for our friends. We should practice for, for the benefit of all the sentient beings, and we should practice for next life, and we should practice for achieve Buddhahood or celebration. So, so, of course, this practice also we should practice based on, you know, bodhicitta mind and compassion and good motivation, good intention is very, very important, very, very important. Because Buddha said, everything depends on motivation. Bodhicitta dharma is, you know, depends on motivation. For example, you know, if you keep one mala in your hand and listen to some mantras without, you know, without a good motivation, this is not Dharma practice. It is not Buddhist Dharma practice. It will be cause of suffering or samsara. <clears throat> if you listen to mantra santi, you know, the, uh, with more good, bad motivation. So everything depends on motivation. This uh, mot good mot so motivation. So, uh, so whatever. After that, uh, we need to uh, to make a offering, a short mandala. It's very important. This is a short mandala. Short mandala of making a short mandala of it to medicine Buddha. Okay. Uh, first we uh, was whatever. First we you know uh, invited uh, medicine Buddha on to our crow. And the second, we take refuge and try to generate bodhicitta. Uh, and third, especially, you know, we look at our motivation. And then fourth, we, sh uh, <clears throat> uh, I mean, we should, you know, make our offering, mandala, short mandala to my medicine Buddha. Okay? So, then we will start to recite some mantra of, of the Medicine Buddha. And we should visualize and uh, white color, you know, nectar coming down on our crow, crown uh, from the Medicine Buddha. Okay, Medicine Buddha's body. Uh, body and his hands, with especially the you know, nectar coming from the leaf. Medicine Buddha have one leaf in his hand. So we should visualize, you know, nectar coming coming down from the medicine Buddha's from medicine Buddha's body, and especially from his hands. And especially from this uh, uh, leaf, okay. Uh, in his uh, right hand, you know, this leaf, you know, represents the mercy Buddha's treatment of other other uh, other beings and other sickness, others, you know, sickness. That means he. 
medicine Buddha has, you know, once leaf in his in his right hand. That symbolizes, you know, his you know treatment uh, others sickness. In Tibet, we call this is you know uh, something uh, medicine medicine leaf. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, so not only from nectar is coming down from, you know, not only from the body, we should visualize coming down from nectar from the medicine Buddhas, you know, uh, Buddhist mind, also from his, you know, speech, speech, mind. It's very important. So now when you practice, you know, this, uh, you recite <coughs> Medicine Buddha's, you know, uh, mantra, and you visualize the med Medicine Buddha here, and, you know, white nectar, you know, come. Okay. Come down onto your crow, crow, and all the these nectars enter into your body. From our, our you know, crow, and and clean away all our bad karmas and all our delusions, and all our diseases, especially if you are patient, if we are patient, if we are sick, we should, you know, visualize, clear away our, all the diseases, all the physical problems. If you, you don't have any special disease, then you should visualize all the bad karmas, all the negative karmas, all the sins, all the you know, bad emotions and attachment, anger, and uh, <clears throat> ignorance, you know, clear away. We should visualize. Many times, many times, you know. For example, you know, for one hour, continuously, constantly practice on this way. We send the mantra and, you know, what is uh, common drums and nectar uh, into to your body and clean away, you know, all the negative karmas. This is best, you know, be our therapist. This can be... Uh, <clears throat> Best messy, best best doctor doctor. Also, and we should visualize <clears throat> all our problems. You know, clean away. You know, maybe we have many problems. You know, actually, you know, we can't recognize we are patient. We are miserable, but when you you know meditate on life nature, then you can recognize. We are patient, really, really miserable. Because we are in samsara. Our body is a samsara. So we have a lot of problem with this body, with this life. We get sick from you know, attachment, anger, and you know, jealousy, and you know, so jealous, you know, so many. A headache and a cold, there's nothing. This is not a problem, you know, this is a very small problem. We are always sick, you know, from this uh, influence by the attachment, anger, jealous, ignorance. So we should clear away this kind of the, you know, 
diligence. It's logical, it's reasoning. If you learn more, study more, you can understand. You can re realize. Really, you know, every, every problem, single, one small single of problems, you know, from our attachment and anger and you know, ignorance. So now, you know, we should visualize uh, this nature of uh, the uh, nectar. This is, you know, looks exactly the same, you know. Oh, sorry. And uh, we should think about the you know, nature of uh, this uh, mm, nectar, okay? Nectar is white, like milk, milk, okay? Very, very pure white. And it is, it's, you know, itself is medicine. Medicine for them, you know, all our problems, all our uh, obstacles. And we should think uh, this, uh, ours, you know, neg negative karmas, disease, as, as, you know, as I like the, it's a you know black color, very black, black color. This looks exactly the same uh, as you know, coal black water, coal yes, black water. It's just you know pure blackness. Then if you know, so we think we should think you know nectar coming down, uh, yeah, into two in our body and make clear always all, all the negative karmas, you know, these negative karmas and these problems come out from our body. This is something like, you know, very black and very dirty and, you know, very bad smelly and we should think, you know, then every, you know, every these problems, this delicious, this negative karmas come out. Same like we wash, you know, our body, put water and then use the soaps and then, you know, they clean exactly the same. We visualize, you know, that this <clears throat> uh, nectar, nectar, or is into our body and you know make clean our mind, speech, body, and these problems you know come come from from every our body, but what is part of our bodies come out. Okay, this uh uh. Just, uh, you know, we should, we should, you know, it is just a pure blackness, okay? And this, you know, black water, you know, goes into the mud, mud of kin, of death. Kin of death, okay? That, you know, something according to the Buddhist religion, always, you know, death of the kin, kin of the death, waiting for us underground for example you know every day you know look at us you know open mouth so now we should visualize this negative commerce you know this black water cool of water this goes to you know uh, what is uh, uh, what is king of death's mouth We should visualize, okay, uh, and uh, through the you know the ground. First, this come what well, this black water, this cool of the water, and so this disease problems you know goes to ground, then goes to in the mouth of you know him of dead. Then the king of dead will be satisfied with this, this, you know, our negative karmas and, you know, this, uh, this black water and, uh, and very happy with it. We should visualize. And he will sleep with, you know, satisfaction 
with uh, this, you know, negative, our negative commas or something, you know, and no more harm to us. And uh, we will, you know, don't have any more obstacle from the kin of death. That means, you know, we should visualize all that these negative commas, you know, goes to, uh, goes to underground and goes to uh, the kin of the death's mouth. And he, he, was, he will be very happy and he is satisfied. Then he sleeps. Then, you know, close mouth. So this is the best purification. The best, best purification. Prevent obstacles. And special purification or what is uh, uh, our body, mind, speech. Through this practice, we can uh, increase uh, mental strength, mental power. And this is the best long, uh, long life puja. This practice, very short, very profound, very deep, and very meaningful, and very powerful. If we have time every day morning, one hour if we practice of this you know, meditation prefiguration, we can be our therapist. We can be on our therapist. And through this practice, meditation, we can develop compassion, of, of course, and bodhicitta. Because we should, we, we need this practice, you know, for benefit of all the Madhusantian beings. <clears throat> and, uh, So, you know, uh, you know, we have a lot, a lot of problems. And uh, so many, many, many problems in our life. This is very clear, you know, in our daily life. This is very clear. So we need, we sh we need more, pro what is practice more, learn more, study more. And... Uh, Purification more. It's very important. Because, you know, every problem comes from our attachment, anger, and ignorance. So we should, you know, through the, this kind of the practice, we should always make clean our speech, mind, body. Because, you know, all the bad karmas created from our mouth and mind and speech. Well, so, we, you know, we should, you know, visualize when you recite the mantra. <clears throat> first, you know, you know your, your recitation is a hundred times recitation. This is for, you know, Purify for your mouth, what is negative of negative karma of mud. Second, this for you know, uh, purify you know, negative karma of your speech. And third, you know, you, you should visualize this is for you know, uh, purify, uh, purify you know, of uh, negative karma of mind. Then you know you, you must practice for a few minutes, longer than maybe more more than a few minutes. And if you can remain longer or a half hour, one hour, very good, very good. It is very powerful. 
definitely you will get something new feeling and the new positive energy. Okay? First you need invited you know, medicine Buddha, and then you take refuge and you try, try to generate bud, uh, bodhicitta or compassion. Then you should offer, make you offer a short mandala. Okay? Then you can start to resent mantra and visualize, you know, uh, coming down, nectar is coming down from medicine Buddha's whole body and special from his hands and legs and special, you know, come from his uh, leaf, you know, his life as a right hand. This, this nectar is, you should visualize, this is not water, okay? This is not milk. This is not milk. This is not water. This is nectar. This nectar, you know, itself, nature is like a best medicine. Medicine for the, all the negative karmas, you know. This, this medicine can treatment all our problems, all our negative karmas. We should visualize. And, you know, this into our body, then uh, make clean our body and mind, speech. Then after that, you should visualize our bodies become, you know, same like, same like glass. This is transported. Oh, you know, you should visualize our body, mind, speech, you know, become, you know, became, became, you know, uh, transported and very really clean and same like glass, so same like light, very pure. No more any attachment, no more any anger, no more any, you know, say, ignorance. We should visualize and rejoice and appreciate your practice. <clears throat> this is very powerful. This is really, really, really powerful practice, you know. At the same time, same time, you should visualize all the sentient beings become the same. You know, they what is clean our their negative karmas and uh, ignorance attachments become say every sentient beings become same like transparent and pure and you know uh, no more negative karma. If you can. If you can visualize, this is the best. When you visualize, you know, nectar come in, uh, into, into the inner body. Also this nectar, many nectars come down and every sentient beings, you know, <clears throat> receive nectar, it's same. And, you know, clear out there, you know, negative gammas on the same time. Okay. Uh, if you practice, you know, this uh, every day, constantly, not one day, not a few days, not, what is, few weeks, you keep going on in your life. Definitely you can change. Definitely you can develop yourself and maybe opportunity will have opportunity to can be on our paradise. Actually, this practice, you know, not uh, only for medicine Buddha. When you are, you know, when you practice Chirisen, also you can exact, you can do same practice. You can visualize the same. Jiri say man para any deities, special you practice for your purification. You should you should you know uh, visualize the same that same like that. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm stop here. If you have any question and if you want to ask any 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 if you have any doubt, please.
you can talk more about Buddhist philosophy, Buddhist science, Buddhist mind, Buddhist religion. You should think more. Okay? So, if you have doubt, then this is a good sign. You know, you, you don't have any doubt, any, you know, so caution. This is not good. So. Good evening, Geshla. Uh, at the beginning of the teaching, you mentioned um, mind power. And I was just wondering, I've been toying around with that concept a little bit. I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about it, make sure I'm on the right track. Uh, <clears throat> according to the Buddhist philosophy, uh, our, our mind power is unlimited. Not like one GP, two GP, five GP. Uh, movies and computers have five GP, something like that. It is limited. But our mind powers are unlimited. Okay? We think, this is my, my opinion. Now, ordinary people like me, maybe we can use only maybe 10% of our mind power. Okay? So if you develop uh, full of our mind power. And if we can use full of our mind power, we can fly, we can fly, we, need, we don't need any, eat anymore, drink anymore, we can do everything, we can control everything, we can change everything, we can change. It is mind power. Really, you know. So, if you read some, you know, story about Melarapa and uh, Naropa, Tilopas, and Ralotsawas, then you will know what is man power. You know, so mind, mind is itself very clean, uh, clean, and you know, brightful. But why we can't see? Why can't we can't use? Because you know, diluted by the negative karmas and bad emotions and delusions and anger, attachment, ignorance, totally you know, repeated and diluted. So th through the practice meditation, we take out this you know curves step by what is step by step. So many layers, you know, were diluted by. So we take out one layer, two layer, three layers, you know, through the practice, through the learn more, and through the understand more, and through the meditation, through the prefication. Then you can shoot, you can open your mind, full open. That means in enlightened mind. Especially, the Buddhism master said that we should make our mind like ocean. That means, you know, we can open mind and we can make, you know, develop mind like ocean. Okay, anyway. Uh, Mary Camille, I think, has a question. Keshala, thank you so much for this wonderful teaching tonight. Um, I took good notes on the practice. I'm just wondering if you have the practice written down for people like me who need notes. Repeat on the this. Oh, sadhana practice. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Actually, so there are many, many uh, prayers. We can do many different sadhanas, okay? But you are maybe you are you know busy, very busy. You know everyone very busy, so very difficult. You know uh, do sadhana long prayers, prayers. You know very difficult. You know so best best is I think you know recent some mantras, Omani Pemeho and mantra of Medicine Buddha, mantra of Lama Tsongkhapa, mantra of Guru Rinpoche Pema Sambawa. This 
mantra is very short and very powerful. Because Tibet translators, you know, never they translated mantras into Tibet. Why? Because, you know, mantras not translated into Tibet, this is much better. And this is more, more powerful, more blissful. Okay? And if you can, if you have time, then you resent you know, this, uh, you do sadhana of Heart Sutra. Or, and also Gandelaja, Lama Tsongkhapa's prayer. You know, I talked about this last Sunday, you know. Gandela Jung, this very short, short prayer and uh, meaningful and profound. Gandela Jama and Heart Sutra and mantras of deities and Buddhas. This is the best our sadhana in the daily life. Okay, anyway. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Um, I, I would, could you say more on how to generate bodhicitta as the, the motivation for the practice or just how one does that? How, how, how should I go about generating bodhicitta or compassion as the foundation for the meditation session? Okay. Uh, Uh, also, of course, you know, I saw you read, you know, this uh, Bodhisattva's, Bodhisattva's practice, yeah? practice in Junju. This is very good for, so this is special to, special for generator Bodhicitta, okay? This also, yeah. And we should think about, you know, uh, the seven cause of effects. That means in a special method to uh, method and special instruction to generate bud what is bodhicitta. Okay, you know, yeah. Okay, anyway, uh, to recognize all the sentient beings as our mother in our in our past life. Number one, we should. We should practice, we should think, learn more, and we should recognize all the sentient beings as our mother in our past life. Okay? Number two, the, to remember all the mother sentient beings' kindness. Be mindful of their kindness. And number three, repent their kindness. We should. And uh, number four, love all mother sentient beings, you know, equally. We love, we should, uh, we, should wait, we, we, we should uh, generate genuine love to uh, all the sentient beings equally. And, uh, and you know, so we, sh we should, and generate superior intention. Okay, and uh, uh, highest intention. And you know, then we should compassion, generate compassion. On the through this practice meditation, this meditation you can create bodhicitta. Okay. Now that means, you know, why I practice about bodhicitta? Why? First, you should think. Why I want to learn more about bodhicitta? Why I should practice, you know, about bodhicitta? Why? What means bodhicitta? Why I, you know, so achieve a Buddhahood for other sentient beings? Why? Because, you know, I really want to have other sentient beings in this my life, okay? Because, you know, all the suffering beings, you know, suffer 
unbelievable suffer in under the, this suffering, but it's a samsara. But how I can have them in this life? I don't have power. <clears throat> so who have power? Buddha have power. So I want to, you know, firstly, I must, you know, achieve Buddhahood, and then I save other beings and attract, attract other sentient beings from suffering. That's why we should, you know, generate bodhicitta, and we need bodhicitta, and we need practice of the bodhicitta. Okay? Okay, anyway. So if you have any question. No more question. <clears throat> the dedication prayers. Eva di yo yo do da sa ge no do jo ne. Rava je jama je sala do ba sho zen jo rin bo je ma je ba nang je 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 wa nyam ba me ba ya ko ne kon de be wa sho we walk on Beijing, come the above. The me will lose your body. Ten raising one, ten ten. Just a yes, a bit sent up a two ten ten. Prayer for Lama Zabra Mishay Swift, which her. Fearless teacher and assembly of the children of the victorious ones. Shravakas and Jacob Adas. Victorious Lozong, father and sons. Long lineage masters, all the objects of refuge and infinite lands, please bestow the virtue and goodness of accomplishing this prayer here and now. Holding and spreading the Muni's precious and complete teachings through explanation and practice, you who are the armor of patience that is never discouraged. Incomparable venerable guru, to you I make request. While striving single pointedly for the sake of the victorious one's teachings, the soul gateway through which all benefit and happiness emerge, and from the other living beings, you suddenly departed to peace. What a great loss. Nevertheless, through the undeceiving truth of the blessing of the ocean of the three jewels and the great waves of bodhicitta of the children of the victorious ones, may the smile of a reincarnation swiftly beam in glory the fortunate disciples. Thank you.